Lumex. Who are you? An interested party. Are you at the Ministry? At the moment, that remains to be seen. But this is a Ministry building, and I mean you no harm. I just want to make sense of what happened. Nothing you say will leave this room. Right. I would like to ask you a couple of questions regarding the events of last month. Please, start at the beginning. Our records show that you and three others arrived at St. Mungo's in the middle of the night. Yes. Remus, one of my friends, was badly hurt, so I disarmed the locks on the windows and tracked down a healer who took everyone in. And how did you disarm the spells? I was training to be a healer, so I already knew the passcode and counter spells. What was your friend suffering from? Some sort of dark magic curse. You don't know what it is? No. The healer's reports were baffled as well. What happened after Remus was admitted? Sirius stayed at the hospital. My friend and I got into a fight and we went our own ways for a while. Did you know where James went? No. We didn't talk to each other for a while after that. At this point, had you seen anyone using magical artifacts? No. No one in St. Mungo's using artifacts? They were practically out of potions. I don't think that they would have any artifacts just floating around the grounds. Hmm. Any summonings at all? Anything you would recognize from Hogwarts? No. Not that I saw. Not then. Do you know where the Sword of Gryffindor is? Why? Strokes Productions presents The Great Wizarding War. Written by Justin Zagri and Garrett Schwackhauser. Directed by Justin Zagri. Produced by Mick Ignis. Chapter 2 The Chess Master. Knight to d5. Hmm. See where I'm going? Not quite. But I have a feeling. Bishop to e4. Hmm. Keeping me at bay won't work forever. It'll do for now until I figure out what you're up to. I read about that raid the other day in Surrey. Yeah. Mess that was. Death Eaters hex an entire car repair shop. Lucky you and your crew got to it when you did. Pawn to F5. Lucky. Pawn to F3. I heard there was a bit of a perk to that one. What do you mean? The AMC Javelin. Oh, right. Brilliant find. Some daft chap tried to hex the transmission, but you don't clue what they were doing. <laughs> got a good look at it. Brand new. I uh, heard it was bright. Red. Yeah. Beautiful coal. Don't know how the muggles do it. Well, I suppose they have a few advantages in the transport department. If only a broom could... Uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, rev. Vroom. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> do you ever think about taking on one for yourself? Blimey. Oh, Molly would never let me. Hmm. Bet the kids would love it, though. How are they, by the way? Uh, let's see, you've got uh, Bill, Charlie, Percy, and a set of twins now, I hear. Oh, yeah. Quite the Lord. 
think they'll be Gryffindors. I'd be quite proud if they were. I'm sure you will. I reckon you'll keep an eye on them when they get sorted. Night takes pawn. Mm. I would love to, Arthur. But my contract for defense against the dark arts was a one-time deal. Afraid the school board and ministry take up too much of my time. I'm sure they do. Lots of talking and conversing and discussing. <laughs> I do envy how often you go into the field, but I'm best with people. Speaking of which, board meeting in five. Think we'll have to finish this another time. Right. Suppose we won't finish this game for a while. I suppose not. But I look forward to resuming. Please, give Molly my best. Luther? When this game is finished, I'd like to show you that javelin. When this game is over, I'll take you up on that. Muggles and wizards alike continue to disappear. Ministry, two steps behind Death Eaters. Paper for you, Mr. Fruminter. No, thank you. Ah, good morning, Mr. Fermenter. Here's your mail. Your board meeting is in five. Anything of note? Uh, yes, actually. A parchment with a mark on it you mentioned was priority. If you see it, it's on your desk. Where's the flu powder? Here you are, sir. Tell the boys at the meeting I'll be late. Wiltshire! Lucius Malfoy, I see more dawdling and less preparing from you and your group. We have a raid to discuss, do we not? Professor? Ah, Severus. Not your professor anymore. But I dare say you were my top student. Won't be surprised if you get the position yourself one day, assuming things go our way. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the Death Eaters. And then... I don't know. I didn't see much. Peter! You don't know if they lived or died? He was gonna kill me, Mum. I didn't know what else to do. Oh, dear. What have you heard from them since? It's only been half a day, Mum. No, I haven't. Oh, well, I do hope they're all right. But I'm relieved you're okay, sweetness. Oh, this war. This war, this war, this war. I thought it'd be up by now. You would think the Ministry would have the resources to deal with such rubbish. If the Ministry can't protect us, then we might have to do something for ourselves. Well, I suppose you're famished. Shall I get you some sweets? Turkish delight? No, no thanks, Mum. But you're shivering, and you must be so hungry. I'm not hungry, Mum. Nonsense! You stay right there and I'll fetch you something. I'm quite fine, Mum. Not another word, sweetness. Would you get that, sweetness? James? Who is it, sweetness? <clears throat> oh. James, prongs. On your feet. James, I'm so sorry. You must. You ran off like a coward. He was gonna kill me. You could have fought him. I couldn't. He almost killed me. Sirius was tortured. Remus is still bleeding out. James! You should have been brave. You shouldn't have started it. What? You, you were warned. Remus warned you. I warned you. Even Padfoot warned you. You don't know what you're saying. I was right there, James. It was a bad idea all around. 
Even if we did beat him. I was trying to keep Lily safe. He, he just wanted to talk to her. How would you know that? Well, I saw it. You saw him nearly kill me. And how can you stand there and defend him? You know where he's going? He's probably gone by now. I know, but by all accounts, you know he would never hurt her. If you just let him... I would never let his slimy claws anywhere near her. He's on the wrong side of this war. It's my place to protect her. And I admit I didn't see it coming. That Snape was so strong. I should have. James. I'm sorry. You're not. You betrayed us. Think about that. Goodness, where did you run off to? Heard things are going well, Goyle. Plans executed? Yup, had our first raid. Was stopped last week by that Weasley brat, but we got what we needed. Heard you tried to hex that muggle car. Blew up in your face, did it? No, just some soapy stuff came out from under the window. Made you nice and squeaky clean, though. <laughs> <laughs> and how are plans shaping up for the next one, Rodolphus? Quite well. We got the Ministry thinking we're gonna hit Hogsmeade next. I've increased security. Should have minimal fuss from Moody and company. Good. And who will be leading it? That would be me. You, Lucius? Hmm. I volunteered. Figured the boy needs to get his feet wet. He'll be coming along with the Misses, Electo, myself, and Amicus. Happy to be of service, by the way, Mr. Luthor. It's a real honor. No need for brown-nosing, Amicus. I'll brown it up all I like, good sister. I wonder if you might take along Severus as well. Me? Him? He just got here. D don't you think that he should... He held his own against four trained wizards. I would know. I trained them. You shouldn't have trained any of them. That'll do, Bella. <sighs> it's all right, Rodolphus. And why not, Bellatrix? If you had stuck to the Slytherins or kept your business out of that miserable school, we wouldn't have as much opposition. You just added more skilled ones to their side. As I did ours. And you and I both know it was the Dark Lord's plan to keep tabs on where those students would be headed. Had I been biased, appearances would have been difficult to keep up. <sighs> you got a problem with the way the Dark Lord runs things? No. Good. Well, Luther, if you think he's ready, he's welcome to join. Severus? Of course. It would be an honor. Good. I know you will do well. Would you mind letting me in on the details? I'll fill you in on the way. But you're gonna need something if you want to come along. What's that? One of these. Oh, yes. Certified mask. Makes it official. The brand makes it official. But it's a good start. By the way, Severus, I heard you did a good one on young Ramus in that fight. What do you mean, Elector? I mean with his pretty face. Cut it up good. He's got a nice crisscross now. Might be good to play knots and crosses on. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you hear that from? Our man inside St. Mungo's. He's still bleeding out, too. Can't stop it. You'll have to teach me that one, Sevy. Whatever you did. Yes. Yeah, it's right wise. <laughs> Where's the bloody healer? You, with the creepy cloak. You the dark magic specialist? Hey, what's with the wand? You, get out of the way. I'll kill you. Hand off your wand. And if you don't keep your mouth shut, I'll kill you. I don't care. What you did to Remus is power you can't begin to contemplate. What could you possibly do to him now, Snivellus? Move away. Slowly. <sighs> you aren't going down without a fight, are you? No. Fine. Petrificus Totalus! <laughs> that must have hurt. 
but I'm sure it wasn't as bad as last night. Sleep well. You were a fool. You've always been like me. Different. Misunderstood. You had your chance to tell them off. You knew the kind of pain they put me through. We could have been friends. But you're just as dense as the rest of them. You side with the popular ones, think you're safe with them. Well, now you know. None of them deserve any mercy. Vulner Senentu. Vulner Senentu. Severus? <laughs>